going back to the users, we'll go into the user classes. In the user classes, we have a couple of options, manage, create, initial user class and the options here. We have the structure here and basically we can play around and make those uh, parent and child categories and everything else. Okay, so here we have all the class names and I actually have two pages of this. So I can go to the second page and I have those there as well. Everything here has been set by the default by this particular software, so E107 and there is a couple of classes here. So for example, we have guests, which is a fixed class and we can hit on this button here to actually edit it. And let's do that now. Basically, I can choose an icon here, I can change the name of my class, I can actually go and add some description, the class type, I can go standard or group, who is managing this, I'll make my main admin actually manage this particular class, class visibility, who is this um, visible to admin, and class parent, there is no parent classes so basically I'm talking about guests and if we look at this tree here guest is right there and it does not have any any parent classes okay let me go back to manage and here like, like I said before you find the full list of all the available classes or I like to call them actually group of peoples okay so let's go and create a new class to do that we'll hit on the create link here and once again we'll be shown with pretty much the same page as we have seen when I clicked on that edit button. So there's the class icon, the class name, the description, the type, who is managing, class visibility and the parent class if you would like you can add that here as well. Once you add it, once you have entered all this information by clicking on create button you will actually create that particular class or as I said that particular group for people so you would enter you would actually assign each and every one of your members to some sort of a group or a class okay the next option there is actually initial user classes so when somebody actually registers on your website what sort of a class what sort of a group would you like them to be assigned to okay so existing classes those are the existing classes so you can actually once again this is actually done and set by the default by e107 you can change that so what kind of class would you like them to immediately belong to so for a moderator admins and mods or private menu and whatnot you can change this and by the default it's set to none and point at which the class is set so which at which point does the new member belong to this group or to this class verification so you can go either initial setup so once they actually go and fill in all the details and have actually signed up or actually once they have actually been verified by email or an admin okay so that's to do with the initial classes and in the options we have a couple of options here and basically as you can see it's actually warning you to not do not actually change anything here unless you know what you're doing and basically this is all to do with some user hierarchy and everything else okay so that was pretty straightforward when it comes to classes just remember that in e107 sometimes well most of the times classes means groups so user groups or something like that and here you can manage you can create and actually you can set the initial user class or the initial user group all right going a bit more down we'll find the users which is the last option here so in this option in this step we have actually seen how to create groups how to create classes and here we actually manage all the available users that we have within our web page whoever is our actual uh, member at the moment i only have one which is myself so status is active display name admin login name real name email address user class admin and options of course i'm an admin and therefore i have a tick here under the admin option right there okay so that's all to do with manage and in all of the cases when you're actually managing when you have a list like this you'll find this search search box here like so where you can actually filter all the available records here and if you have you know 100 or 200 or a thousand records you will definitely use this but in my case since i have only one member which is myself i would pretty much not use this it's pointless 
Okay, then we have the quick add user as the name suggests. This is where you would add a quick user. So basically this is where you as the admin are actually adding a user. The required fields there are the name, display name, the username, the real name, password, email, notification and user status. Okay, so this is something that you have to set up. So active, don't notify, active, notify password, required activation, notify password and link and activation link. So if you set this, whoever you register this, they will actually receive on this email address, they will receive a verification um, email and they will actually have to go and hit on the activation link and confirm their password okay then we come to set classes and if we hit on set classes we'll come to a couple of the classes available there and make admin so whether or not we would like this person to be admin and if we do make him an admin we can actually set the permissions here so they can go into the preferences into search site links url configuration and pretty much all of the available options are right here so whatever it's available whichever permission is so whichever option is available on the web page is actually listed here and you can set whether or not this particular person if we want them to be an admin for example can access the front page the language and everything else okay so the users menu is quite big and there's quite a lot of information here which needs to be set up once again before you actually start building your web page and this is the section which you're going to be visiting quite a lot basically if you have emails which you would like to send out so newsletters and stuff like that you will come to the mail section if you want to ban some people you will come to the ban list section the admin and the admin password is something that you're not going to most probably be visiting a lot of time but for example it's quite good to change your password from time to time just to keep on the safer side and basically you'll find information about your users and your classes here as well okay the next option there is the content and that's something that we'll have a look in the next video tutorial so for the users options this is it make sure you set up your admin administrator your password and that you actually have your mails set up the way you want them to be and of course the user classes as the users will actually be joining one of these user classes or the user groups